All right. We're going to make an uramaki sushi. Uh, we're going to make it with rice. We're going to turn it, uh, put some uh, sesame seeds on it, on the, on the outside. Then we're going to turn it inside out, the, hence the name inside out roll. Um, and then we're going to put on the inside some uh, tempura. We just tempurad this. How did you do the tempura? Well, okay, I would love to say like, yeah, we made this special dough, but actually there's this really beautiful mix. Chinese, at the Chinese boat in Rotterdam, beautiful. So the mix is all prefab. How do you do that? Just mix with water? Water and flour. Well, so. it is flour. So okay. we're going to make, uh, first make the, uh, the, 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 the rice of the... Uh, could the, you tell us like very fast how mm -hmm. this rice is made because it's such a the secret of the sushi isn't it yeah, absolutely and um, the, actually um, the, the, this rice is you see it already it's so so amazingly perfect for this uh, this sushi I mean and don't get me wrong I mean I cooked it well don't you know very simple but also like in the Italian kitchen as well, but it's in different. The Japanese well, it's 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 about good ingredients. So when you have the good rice, it's really not so difficult and really hard to screw it up. Um, what you do is you get uh, a fixed amount of uh, of rice. I usually take half a kilo, and then you put uh, like one and a half times the, the amount of water, and then you boil it for 15 minutes. Really simple. Boil it for 15 minutes. After 15 minutes, you turn off the heat. By the way, boiling uh, until it's boiling, and then you turn off, uh, the, then you turn the, the heat really low. Then it's not boiling anymore. No, no, it's not really boiling. Then the rice starts absorbing the water, and um, for 15 minutes approximately, but at, at least until all the water is gone, and then you um, then you put the uh, uh, the, uh, uh, the the heat off. You put a lid over it, and then you leave it for 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, you put a mixture over it of rice vinegar. Sugar Does it, it go salt. to the oven, this this rice, or you go to the fire, or no, no, no. Then you leave it cold, and you put you mix yeah. it cold. Uh, no, you don't mix it cold, but it's it, it has been cooled off a little. No, the mix I mean in a, in a big uh, in a big bowl. But the mix it doesn't go to the fire. Well, the mix is just the mix. You make the mix uh, warm because then the sugar will uh, will dissolve in the um, better in, yeah. the, in the in the vinegar. All right. Okay? Yeah. All right. So we're going to put the. Um, the uh, the sesame seeds over it because it will give a very nice. Oh, that's funny. Yeah. Sesame seeds normally are. Yeah. Well, the beauty, or, or the beauty of it, white. they are roasted. Oh. And they are so the, the taste is really you taste like it tastes like barbecue. You taste a barbecued sesame seed. Do you know how difficult it is to barbecue? Can I try one? To barbecue one sesame seed here. You know, there's so many. It does taste like. Yeah, it roast, it's roasted. It's beautiful. Smoky. Okay, um, so what we're going to do is the trick of the uramaki. I'm going to put it like this. And, oh, oh baby, with, at the BBC. Ah, like this. Then we turn it around. Okay. Okay, that's Dutch. Okay, so now we have the inside out actually. And now we're going to put some cream cheese on it, here, and then, uh, where's my uh, berry? Okay, so we're going to put some cream cheese on it. Beautiful. Some cream cheese, we're going to put some spring onions on it. We're going to put, of course, the tempurad salmon and shrimp. And we're going to put some fish eggs directly on this cream cheese. Like this. You see I'm a very neat person because you know, this is all very, very sophisticatedly and accurately done. You know, I like that. Um, so we're going to use, uh, let me just get a new spoon. Some fish eggs. Where do we buy it? Well, I would say this is really just at the very, very most, the best, like, uh, that fish, is caviar. Fish, fish store. Yeah, it is. Well. And people have the idea that caviar is so expensive to do this kind of stuff. Uh, well, of course, if you take the real beluga, or there's another brand that was, that's even heavier and more expensive, and I don't even know that, the name of that anymore. 
Um, but you know, you can just take, uh, take a jar, uh, jar like this. It's really, really beautiful. Bought at Schmidt Zevis, Rotterdam. All right, so now we're going to put the um, tempura salmon here. And some other salmon here. And it's then gonna be so we're going to cut the uh, uh, shrimp just in small strips. Otherwise, we will not be able to put it there. Just a, an idea that just popped up to do it with the shrimp like this. Combination of shrimp and salmon. It's going to be a big one, so we're going to make it really, really thin to eat in a minute. Okay? Just some spring onions. I like love spring onions for the freshness. I like this. And then we're going to um, close it actually. So, like this, and like this, and we're going to put it really, really tight, even though, you know, it squeezes a little out of it, but still, you have to put it really tight. Like this, and then, you yeah. see, the oramaki. Yeah. Mm. Unbelievable. Is that nice or yes, what? It is very. I think so too. And it d just doesn't look beautiful. It is going to taste amazing. Mm -hmm. Let me put this away. Now I'm going to cut it like this. You see, it's really, really thick, of course, because of the uh, all of the tempura that we put in. That's also one of the things, of course, that is so nice about this stuff. You know, just try. Sometimes it's good, sometimes it's fantastic. Amazing. Beautiful, huh? So, so I'm going to put them here. Oh, you made others sorry. already. Yes. Shall I tell you which we made already? Yes. All right. Let me just put this here. Uh, so uh, this one, you know, you just saw what we made, and I like to put it like this, like this. Okay. Um, we have here. A uh, just a, a very basic maki, but really, really with beautiful tuna and some amazing cucumber with a little wasabi paste, really simple but very effective. This one is also beautiful, it's a um, uh, also a uh, nori maki with uh, uh, avocado, with some spring onions, salmon, and the trick I love very much with cream cheese. Really, really important. You know how they usually use. The, uh, um, the uh, uh, mayonnaise for, for California rolls, for example. Yeah. I don't like that so much, you know? Because the, um, uh, the, uh, the, 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 the beauty of sushi is, I think, is that it's so amazingly fresh. So, mayonnaise makes it creamy, makes it a little full. And I don't like that so much, so I love to use cream cheese. Like we just did with the, with the uh, uramaki here as well. And we do, did that with this as well. And here we made another uramaki. And for this, that was a beautiful idea of making a tartar, tartar of tuna. And uh, it's a, uh, we made a tartar of tuna with some, again, some cream cheese, some wasabi paste, uh, pepper salt, some spring onions, and beautiful, amazing. And uh, so we put that in, and of course the fish eggs on the outside. Oh, nice. This is the last thing. This is a, um, uh, a roll with salmon and some crab sticks. And we're going to tempura this. Okay. All right. So thank you very much. All right. It was a nice lesson. Beautiful.